There's tons of new social safety nets. It seems like it has nothing to do with shrinking the national debt, though, which is about to surpass, I don't know, $30 trillion. Let's bring in Texas Congressman Dan Crenshaw. He's on the House Energy and Commerce Committee. He's also a fellow SEAL. Good morning, sir. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so I, I got to ask, like, this budget, it it's crazy. What do you make of it? Yeah, you know, before I got on ENC, I was the ENC committee. I was on the budget committee, and uh, the Democrats had a habit of not being able to pass a comprehensive budget out of the budget committee, and that's because they're embarrassed by their own budget. They don't know how to pass a budget. They don't care about fiscal responsibility. And look, you know what the real problem is in America? Americans don't care about fiscal responsibility. Right. Okay. The, the Republican Party hasn't cared about it for the last four years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trump never cared about it. We need to be frank about that. We need to start caring about it again. When you have endless spending, you finally get inflation. That's why this just happened. We had a multi-trillion dollar bill that we shouldn't have had back in January. And now we have skyrocketing inflation. And look, here's the other really bad part about, about this bill. What he's doing, what Biden is doing for that, that $6 trillion is he's adding his infrastructure plan into it, right? It's not just $6 trillion for the federal government. But that infrastructure plan is very wasteful in and of itself, mostly because it has little to do with infrastructure, very small percentages for roads and bridges and mm -hmm. highways. Look, I can get behind spending money on investments into our ports, into our water infrastructure, into our highways. These are good investments. I, the price tag makes me cringe a little bit, but they're good investments. But they want to spend it on ridiculous things, right, like, like, like massive tax credits for, for green energy. Now, I like green energy, too. But I want some green energy that works no matter what kind of weather there is, like nuclear right. energy. You know how many dollars there are for that? Practically nothing. So it's just really bad investment all around. You know what else they do? They, in their infrastructure plans, like for instance, they demand they say they're going to spend like $80 billion on laying down fiber optic cable for, you know, for 5G. Like there's better ways to do that. Right. It's, it's, it, that's the, the first problem. But here's the second problem. In other bills that they have, like their Clean Future Act, which is like the legislative version of the Green New Deal, mm -hmm. they ban new plastic production. Guess what you need to make fiber optic cable? New plastic production. Right. Guess what else you need? You know, new mining in America. You know, there's just it's yeah. like these people don't think. They don't govern well. And people well, need to know that. It's like when you see the hybrid car plugged into a, a gasoline powered generator because they're, you know, they, they, they ran out of juice. It's like, it, it's the same thing. But we, we see this, Dan, exactly. uh, Congressman, all the time. Sorry, you and I have been friends off camera for some time, you know, through our, our times on the team. So be respectful and call you Congressman. Um, the, the issue I have is Republicans really don't do much either. And I always tell people, I'm like, look, Democrats, Right, Republicans are probably not the answer to all your problems, but Democrats are generally the cause of all your problems. And the problem is Republicans really haven't stood up and done anything about it. Even when we had the House, like we haven't had a balanced budget since Clinton, Newt Gingrich. I mean, come on. Yeah, look, and, and this really comes down to our American culture right now. Look, Trump never cared. About, he didn't even claim that he cared. Paul mm -hmm. Ryan did. Right. OK, so I don't know why people call him a rhino all the time. It would, I think it's ridiculous. OK, he actually cared about the budget. He proposed budgets that, that were balanced. Right. He, and he fought for that for a long time. Um, look, Americans have to care about it, which means you have to stop this belief that that the government is there to bribe you. And you know what? I'm saying that to to your audience, like to our conservative voters. Mm. We have to collectively stop believing that, because I'll tell you what. If we say, we're, we, well, look, we have to have an adult conversation about Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, people stop listening. Right. And I was like, wait a second, I thought we were conservatives. I thought we believed in, in, in thinking of the long term and thinking of second and third order consequences and thinking of fiscal responsibility. These programs are what's driving our debt massively, and they're running out of money. So if you don't touch them, it's actually the same as saying you're going to kill them. So when there was campaign promises made to, I'm not going to touch them, and everybody cheered, I was like, that's the same as saying you're going to kill these programs. Right. Because they're going. They're going insolvent. I, I just. I, you got to be honest with the American people, and then we can have good conversations about this. Yeah. It, to me, it, it's like mind blowing the people thinking you just turn on this money tap and it just flows endlessly. I hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.